folks. Hey, Brad Miller with flybass.com and flybass.biz. I want to talk to you today about poppers. You know, I don't think there's any more fun way to catch fish of any kind uh, in the world than on the surface. And uh, when you can rile them up with poppers and you give them a slam of popper, I don't think there's anything more exciting in the world of fishing than that. And we've specialized now in poppers on flybass.biz, especially when it comes to foam poppers. We've got more materials and a wider selection than any other place on the internet, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. Um, you know, we started out here um, uh, a while back with uh, kind of an innovative uh, design, the blockhead popper design that we sell. We're the only ones on the internet right now that sell this particular fly body. And uh, you can get them in assortment packs and that sort of thing, but um, they're just really a great foam uh, solution as far as a lightweight uh, fly that's flexible enough to withstand some abuse and uh, but most importantly the fish have voted and they love them but we've taken it a step further now we've we've added a number of different things and I'm excited to tell you about it because I've got some products here that you can buy and you can actually get two flies for the price of one um, this happens to be a half cone with a flat bottom uh, foam body popper we've also got a full cone and you can see that uh, this is that's a full one with the hole in the middle. The half cone, the, the hole is a little bit closer to the bottom of the flat side. So they're going to ride a little bit differently in the water. But what's cool with them is instead of taking that and putting it on a hook and using that as a popper by itself, which you could do, in my mind, that's a little bit more body than we really need. So what I've done is I take these and I cut them. I take an X-Acto knife. And I'll take the half of the full body and I'll cut it with the exacto knife. Then I wind up with a nice chunk I can use for a bass popper or a pike or a saltwater type popper, whether it's a full or a half cone. And then I've got a great little piece here that I can use for either a, a panfish popper or I can reverse it. And we've got a super little slider that we can use for the panfish as well. So you can actually get two different uh, uh, sliders or poppers for the cost of one body. So take a look at these cones. They come in three different sizes and several different colors and they're, and they're really going to be an economical way for you to kind of load up on your top water armamentaria for this season. Um, but we don't stop there. We've got a number of different types of bodies uh, depending on what you're looking for. This one has a, a, a scooped out uh, front to it. This is just appreciate bass popper. Different sizes, different colors on this one. This one's called a mini me and this one's got a really quite a scooped out front end to it as you can see here there is an angle on it and um, uh, this one is going to push a lot of water with that cup face and for those of you that like that cup face type uh, bullet shaped uh, popper body uh, you're going to love these mini me's fantastic body now uh, we move into other types of poppers here for example is just we have frog bodies and you can take these you can paint them if you want to uh, but these come uh, and you obviously you just you get uh, the the dressing on the hook and you can run that baby on there and you got a great frog body and you can turn it around obviously if you want to and then you can turn it into a kind of a snub nosed diver, if you will. But if you want to run a diver, then I would suggest you go ahead and get the diver body that we have as a foam body. Um, not trying to take anything away from you guys to throw deer here, but let's face it, um, a lot of these deer hair flies, I don't care what kind they are, whether it's a mouse pattern or a, a regular fly, fly uh, popper pattern, um, they get wet and when they get wet many times they start to sink and once they sink they, they you got a glorified muddler or something like that these don't these will float all day like a cork and they're lightweight and they're easy to throw um this one has a has a big time scoop scoop out behind the shoulder of it here and allows you to put lots of bulky materials behind it on that shaft and then just slide it in there and obviously you can reverse this one too if you want to and you wind up with a a funky looking popper that way too that'll push a ton of water so you can use these things either way um, and I would highly recommend that you experiment with them a little bit and see what works for you on the, on the fish by your uh, home or the waters that you plan to fish a um, couple other things too let's talk about sliders and pencil shaped poppers we've got a pencil shaped popper like this which obviously you could put on uh, a hook and run it as a regular pencil shaped popper 
um, it's scooped out in front a little bit to push water. Or um, you can go ahead and reverse that, just like we do all of them, and then mount that and you've got a beautiful slider putting all kinds of materials in the back that hollowed out area in the back will help hide some of the materials as you go back with them and uh, uh, you got a beautiful slider and so you can take these things you can chop these off too you can do all kinds of things with them um, and get maybe a couple three different flies out of one piece of foam um, it's it's uh if you just want to get a bunch of cylindrical type foam, we've also got that available uh, in different sizes, anywhere from, uh, I think they start out at about maybe uh, a half inch wide, all the way up to an inch and a quarter inch wide on some of these cylinders. For those of you that want to go for big time musky pike and some saltwater action, um, this one happens to be an Art Deco cylinder. It's a three quarter inch. Um, they get bigger with different colors and smaller, all kinds of uh, variations on them. But this one you can even run as a as a tube fly. Um, you can just run the tube in there and then have the line coming out the back with the hook and so on and so forth. Any number of different applications for this. But um, take a look around. Uh, we've got other types of materials that you can use like rubber legs and so forth. We've got paint. If you want to paint these things, I know a lot of you like to do that. But the nice thing about the foam is if you do want to run in rubber legs, all you got to do is take your take a bodkin or whatever and push it through, okay? And then take your um, wire bobbin threader and run your bobbin threader through there. Hook your rubber legs and pull them back and you got rubber legs coming out of these things like crazy. So very, very easy to work with on this soft foam. Give it a shot. Tell me what you think. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you on the water this summer. Brad Miller, flybass.com. See you soon.